So I just installed Visual Studio Code 64-bit, and now I need to set up my Python environment. Hmm. How about we look over here in the code's extensions? I'll type Python into the search box. Look for the one called Python, and it will have over 17 million downloads. Click on it. You need to have the Python language already installed. Now let's install the Python extension. Once it has completed, close VS Code and open a command prompt window. Using similar commands to what is on the screen, find a place to create a new folder. Make a new folder called Python. Change to the Python directory. Use the code command to start Visual Studio Code. By creating a new folder and starting code from there, it creates a workspace named after the folder. Here is the Python folder where you can add and run your Python files. But first, we have to tell the Python extension where to find the Python language. Click View, then Command Palette. Find the command Python, and select Interpreter. Choose the appropriate Python language installation on your system. I'm choosing Python 3.7. Over in the Workspace folder, create a new Python file. VS Code may ask you to install linting. I'm going to install it. It may take a minute to install. So now let's go into our Python code file and test it out. First, I'll create a variable. Now I'll just try to print my workspace. Variable. One of the greatest features in Python and VS Code is the helpful IntelliSense that pops up. As soon as I start typing print, it recognizes the command. And instead of typing out the entire command, I can just hit tab and autocomplete. IntelliSense helps out with the syntax and makes coding easier and more fun. Right click on the code window and click run Python file in terminal. Let's see the output. There are the results.